I don't know, I'll just be walking in a straight line and then there just so happens to be like a boulder to like my right and then my foot will just indiscriminately just go out and hit the boulder and I'll just be like, God dang it, I hate my life. Uh, <laughs> fuck. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna ping Adrian real quick because he didn't show so up it's... for stream at all yesterday, but uh, I want to give him a little bit of time just in case he is showing up. Uh, so it's a, uh, I would say it's yeah. not a battle stat. It's like a, it's a status effect in like the outside world. I think in battle, I probably oh, won't is. like trip, you know, that easily or, or do something stupid. But you know, just when I'm not doing anything, <laughs> that's when like clumsy. Like like in the <laughs> in the in, in the fire emblem, like when you're just hanging out with the other soul with the, with the other like combatants or whatever, you're just like, hey everybody, I got food. Ah! <laughs> you just fall down oh, the stairs. My boiled grin Maybe. alive. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if it'll be that easy. He's normally, dead! Normally when I'm doing a task, Grant is it's freshly like battered. fine. Quick, get him into the oil. Oh yeah, oh. get him into the, put him more into the oil. <laughs> All right, now that's a, now that's a funny, now that's a, now that would be a funny encounter if like, uh, the, the enemy that you're fighting has like a big, a big like barrel of, uh, uh, of deep fry batter and you knock it over and they spill it on a bunch of people and the guy's like no quick get them in the burning oil we can't waste the batter <laughs> and they're just like ah and they all turn into like human shaped fried chicken it's like the one episode of spongebob where they're at the olympics oh yeah and they and they just turn an entire section of the audience into fish sticks it's yes. pretty nightmarish fish sticks mm -hmm. Um, because you told me to. Because you told me to. Uh, I did want to ask because uh, I haven't been watching a lot of Elden Ring stuff, but uh, there was there oh, was a boy. discussion of I, I checked out like a couple things. It looks like a Dark Souls game. Who would have guessed? But I know, and everyone's <laughs> creaming themselves over it. I I heard it's really good, More and I appreciate that. But you know, it's not really my scene to be playing that kind of game like on day one. But uh, there, uh, there was a weird uh, like I just so happened to tune into uh, a Pat stares at stream at a very peculiar time because uh, people in his chat were lamenting the idea of uh, there not being a bleed status effect in Elden Ring. I guess for whatever reason they really wanted it to be in there. I don't know. I guess it's a I guess it's a status effect in Sekiro, and people thought that Elden Ring was going to be all. Uh, from soft games like added into one so they were lamenting it not being there and apparently and I don't know this is just because I have a fascination with status effects in video games um, apparently in Sekiro the way that bleed works is that you you inflict bleed and it's like a poison like they take damage over time right but then it wears off really quickly unless you hit them again and then it refreshes. But it also deals more damage than poison normally would. And I was just thinking about that and I was like, man, that's a really clever idea because it forces you to be aggressive. Because normally like when you have poison, you'll poison somebody and then be like, ooh, and like and like juke them so that way they don't touch you or whatever. <laughs> like, like you Zoidberg away from, from combat. Zoidberg. But with bleed, the idea being like, it's already hard to inflict bleed, but then once you have it, you want to keep it going for as long as possible. So now you're getting in there and it makes sense for Sekiro. So yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to share that because I thought it was interesting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I think we're good for more ghost trick. Uh, Adrian, you were not here yesterday, so I, I guess we could try to bring you up to speed. What happened? Did what's her face prison. die some more? Uh, Lynn, she did not die yesterday. Oh, interesting. Surprisingly, yeah. Sur did Sausage Head fucking die? Sausage Head should have died, but he did not. Damn it! We're excited no, for him. Why? Fuck! <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll recall why that I, I believe the last time you were here, we stopped uh, Jode's execution, if you recall. Yes. We, we blew up the electric chair before he could die. So that was Ooh. that happened. Uh, so right as we started stream yesterday, we escaped back up into the actual like prison section, like where all the cells are, and the power was out. Oh, excuse me, and the power was out. 
So the idea was that they introduced a new uh, mechanic that we called the DILF button, where we had to uh, navigate Detective Joe through this environment while there were security guards with assault rifles and night vision goggles patrolling. Um, and that was kind of cool. Like, that was just an interesting thing in general. Uh, Detective Jode picked up on the mechanics of how ghosts works shockingly quickly. Like, apparently he developed a sixth, uh, sixth sense, like an ability to detect ghosts, uh, like nobody's business. And that was insane. Uh, he, he ends up getting caught, however, by Detective, uh, Elvis, if you recall, Inspector Elvis. And after that, we went to the defense minister's office. Oh, hello, Lawrence. Inspector You're here Curtily. early. Oh, oh, no, never mind. It's Saturday. I forgot. It'd be Saturday. Um, I after that, we Inspector went to the defense Co minister's Coutis. office. And thank God, we just so happened to have a random person show up in chat who was familiar with the game because uh, they the, saved de her butts. the defense minister, <laughs> who, by the way, is uh, you remember that lady from early on who was drinking all the wine? She was super tall and busty or whatever. Uh, yeah, and she had a daughter. Yeah, uh, the defense minister is her husband. Uh, yeah, so we went there. We go there. He has a heart attack and we have to go solve his heart attack. And the and obviously the way that you are not obviously, but the way we're supposed to solve it is uh getting his medicine like he accidentally knocks it across the room and we have to get it back to him and so at first we thought that we had literally two seconds i'm not joking when i say two in-game seconds to you know get like the the bottle of pills back to him but then the guy potato hoarder in chat was like oh yeah you don't need to do that uh you need to earn your you need to figure out how to get yourself more time first and, yeah, there's uh, like something else you could do. And uh, I didn't really, I couldn't figure it out. Saba had already like suggested this earlier, but I thought she was crazy. Cause of course, when you're having a heart attack, you can chew like aspirin or whatever to like make it less bad. So that way you can make it to the hospital without like croaking. But the game apparently seems to think that if you're having a heart attack and you just drink a fuck ton of water, you'll be fine. At least for no, a while. No, it'll save it'll save you some time. Yeah, right. That's what I mean. At least for a while, which doesn't make any sense. But whatever. I guess that's fine. Um, and then this was the first time so far in the game that something unique happened. Because you'll recall that in all the times that we've done the like stuff four minutes before someone's death previously, um, whenever we changed somebody's fate, that was like a checkpoint, so we didn't have to do everything again, right? Um, there was a part where you can get into the water pitcher and uh, he raises the water pitcher high up into the air to drink it. And what you're supposed to do is be in the water pitcher when he raises it so you can go to the ceiling fan above him for the second half of the uh, of the circumstance. Right. But I missed it like because I didn't know we were supposed to do that. So he finishes with the drinking animation and is just sitting there clutching his chest. And I was just in the, I was just in the flag in his office. Like there was nothing to do. And whenever I went back to like restart at the after fate had changed, it would just start me at the flag again. So I actually had to go back to the beginning of the mission, do all of that nonsense again. And this time make sure that I made it to the ceiling fan and then it saved my progress. So. I don't know what that was about. It was very strange. And according to Potato Hoarder, apparently all of the puzzles from here on get pretty obtuse and like pretty specific. So look forward to that. I see. Ugh. But with all that being said, now oh. everybody's all caught up, uh, including oh. including Lawrence, who had to leave early yesterday. Um, mm. We should be good. And we have a full team of five people for voice acting. <clears throat> Is everyone good to go? Aren't you glad? Yeah. I am glad. I'm glad everyone's here today. Mm. Okay. Oh, uh, Adrian, are you good to be doing uh, Detective Elvis again? If he if he shows up, I'll try. Okay, good. I really should pay the kidnappers' hideout a visit. After all, if we want the Justice Minister to come around, we have to solve this problem first. 
I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery. But I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble. So I guess I'm in this for the for a little while longer. Oh yeah, Beauty came back. The Blue Man Group lady. She's back yeah. again, so that's fun. Guess who's back? Back, back again. again to be the Blue Man Group. Finally. Only one. The uh... <laughs> Only one of the Blue Man Group, and that's just Blue Man. <laughs> Blue Man. <laughs> the Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of death row prisoner Jode to be carried out tonight. Whatever. Words, men. Whatever. Who cares, right? Who Anyways. cares? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's, just a it's just a daughter. You can make more. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, on stream today. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Oh, boy. Lynn says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnappers hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. Oh yeah, I guess we have a million people here, so we should figure out who's voicing who. Oh, this is Adrian. Three billion. Oh, wait, is this the guy you're talking about, Zach? Yeah, this is Scuzzball. The guy that was with her, yeah. <laughs> Did I already choose a voice? Uh, I don't think so, because I think by the time you actually like saw this guy, he had like no more voice lines or whatever. So yeah. uh, we have agreed that all members of the Blue Man Group need to have a vaguely European accent. It could be French, it could be Russian-ish, it could be German, whatever you want. Just remember that this guy is affectionately called by me as Scuzzball. Okay, let me think. It's take the rose right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Man was pedaling fast. Oh my god, he's tiny. <laughs> Yeah, he he <laughs> he is minuscule and she's a little oh taller my. than average. And so it's the sort of thing where it's like awesome. you look at the two of them together and you're like, wow, she's tall. And then you look and she's like, mm, no, she's actually like five, seven, which is like tall for a woman. But not in term, not when you have Detective Jode and Detective Elvis. You hear that? Women are shores. The women are shores. Zach, I mean, I can't necessarily disagree. I mean, with that he, oh shit! If we, if we take a sample from the Obo stream, wait a minute. He's right. <laughs> He's as far as we right. know, women are tiny. Yes, uh, we, we have never seen only have... anyone else. And excuse ever in you, the, isn't isn't the average us. height for women globally? Isn't it like five five or whatever? Five twelve. It's that that's six feet, Grant. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> There's a difference. Uh, Saba, you, you could, wanted uh, to do me. beauty with a Russian accent, didn't you? I was, I wanted to try, but then I was told to shut up, so I'm listening to that. Just go. But well, we had to listen to Lawrence's. Just, just and, go, uh, Saba. Let's see. I have to just think about her voice in my head for five seconds. Okay. Next time, maybe you should try it. A try it a tricycle. Make it a make tricycle. It. Okay. Maybe you should try <laughs> it a tricycle. <laughs> maybe you should maybe make you it should a tricycle, so you don't hurt yourself. Maybe you should tricycle. Maybe Which should that tricycle. hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. <laughs> you hurt me. <laughs> I like to whip people. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Wait a minute. Oh. Is this the basement no, this of the superintendent's die. office? Be a little Super more Dennis gentle Dilbert. with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes. Always keep a smile on the lady's face. By right, my dear. <laughs> what yeah, accent right, are dear. you doing, Adrian? Because I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know what it is, but like it's, it. it's fun. I have not a fucking clue, Zach. I have not a clue. <laughs> You're just making or something Norwegian. up. All right, I love it. It's great. There, see that beauty. Now, there's a smile blooming on your face, too, my dear. I guess I'm doing my best Gru impression. <laughs> Girls. Yes, a fiery smile. Rye? I don't know what, I don't know what a Russian accent saying the word rye would sound like. Yeah, no, I just, I just, you know, the attempt was made. That's all I can say. Respect. 
I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right, I'll dream of you until you return. Yes. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. <laughs> breather. Oh, breather. <laughs> I will dream of you when you are gone. And he just takes out a pillow and just goes to sleep. Goodbye. All right. Need to lay the. Let me open the trunk for you. How the fuck do I open the trunk? Oh my god, he fell asleep. <laughs> oh, he is. <laughs> Boo. I was right. Boo. He looks like the justice minister's daughter really has been kidnapped. And something else is bothering me too. Where are we right now? I think this is the basement of the superintendent's office from no, the junkyard. No, you specifically, like, you're watching this oh, play out. What we're, object we're are in you the, in? We're, the in the, we're in the phone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever been in this room before. But something about it's giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen Deja something vu. like this before. I've just been in this place before. <laughs> yeah, so we're in the phone. Oh, it's uh I can open. impossible to not drive fast while listening to your beat. Deja vu. <laughs> it's it's impossible Deja to vu. not it's impossible <laughs> to not drive fast while while, while listening to your beat, much to the chagrin of most patrol officers. <laughs> 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 exactly. You're in but a school so zone. But <laughs> yeah, but I'm going 75. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I did that. Hey, now we can go there. <clears throat> and where does this go? I can swing. Swing your tuchus around. Ooh. Your tuchus? Yeah. Oh, it oh. gets caught on the fan. That doesn't we make any sense. Well. It's called centripetal force. Spin faster! Spin faster! <laughs> Go! Oh, now you can go back and open up the cabinets. It, real quick, we is somebody it. constantly like entering and leaving the Discord like video stream, or is it literally the music of this area has a kunk? Do I think it's the, it's the music? The music. I think. music. <laughs> Why would you do? I mean, I guess this game was made like mu like well before Discord ever existed, but it, it's like it, it, it's like when you're watching a YouTube video and they get a message on Discord like the. Bah, bah, yeah. And I like I look at my I look at my Discord and I'm like, oh right. <laughs> the, why would they do this? Just for you, buddy. God, how funny would it be if it was actually like uh like a default sound effect that's just available? Yeah. Online. <laughs> do -do. Pretty good. Make it as your like Twitch notification. Darn. All of Yoshi's watermelons are stuck in this crate. Oh no! I can't reach my destination from here. Th thanks, game. I wasn't aware of that. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad we all have the same idea. Everybody's everybody is a funny person, you know? Everybody, everybody is so funny. We would like to have fun here. Oh my god. Did you wake his ass up? Yep. We're trying to give him nightmares. That's the goal. Just my yeah. imagination. Right? Okay. Okay. Just I, yeah, my just imagination. Must have been the wind. <laughs> must have must, been the wind. <laughs> must have been the pizza pasta. <laughs> must have been the pizza pasta. What am I? Uh, we did it. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I have this other party go. popper. Fire! Fire the cannons! Oh my God, what are we trying to do here? This is like We're scaring him a party. Me. What? What kind of party poppers have this kind of string in them? 
uh, the Jokers. <laughs> Only the best kind of party popper. Okay, we're going up. We did it. We're doing it. We're doing we're gonna something. Hang him. And now we're going back down. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so are we supposed to like light something? There's a candle over there. Yeah. I can I can move, move this. What does that mean? You can rock, dude. You can rock out. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move this. Wait, then you can rock. And what does that do? I don't know. Why? Why are you asking so many questions? Yeah. You gave me the answer. <laughs> That's nothing. I don't know what you're talking Wait. about. Uh, okay. Well, there's that. Because this thing, Activity. despite having a candle, has no. Not why? Why did I? Why did I do this to the fan? Oh, I can make the fan spin faster. That probably does something. Or why not? See what this does. Survey says. You're kidding. We did it. We did it. Oh! We did it. I can I can Survey move. says success. Survey says nice. <laughs> Survey says sick. Sick as hell. Mission okay. status sick. <laughs> huh. Uh I don't think I can move while I'm spinning. Spin fast. If I do this, bop, 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 bop. Down. And then bop, 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 bop. Can I, can I move while this is going? Hello? Oh, I'm in the party bumper. What are you tricking? Yeah. I meant to be in this. I can't move while this is spinning, okay. But can you move when the thing's spinning faster? I can while the while the fan is spinning fan. faster. So I'm so okay, I'm wondering, am I really in. supposed to go from there to <laughs> the there. fan all the way around to here before the fan stops spinning? Because that seems kinda nuts. Well you got a better idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have no other no. ideas. I'm gonna be speed. Speed. No. I am speed. All right. I am P. I am P. I am P. I'm piss. Oh my God. I am mess. <laughs> I'm urine. <laughs> well, turns out it wasn't that hard. But you did it, and then you got. Did I not make it spin faster? Awesome. Fucking awesome God sauce. Damn it. Awesome sauce. Looks like someone wasn't P. Grant, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm just making an observation here. You can go that way. It's not spinning crazy fast anymore. Yeah, what's up with that? You took the crazy out of its sails. That doesn't. Yeah. That doesn't, okay. What's the deal with airline food? Uh, I mean, there's this. The cake box. Oh, nice. You know what? Do you think that when it spins faster, do you think that it can reach the candle on the other on the other side of the room? It's worth a shot. Fuck. Just gotta you just gotta tickle it a little bit. A little little little. Okay. Yeah, just gotta tickle the balls. 
Uh, right. So okay, I'm gonna. Trick. I'm gonna ghost trick. Yeah. See, I think it, I think it will. I think it will reach. What if you ghost Rick? Ghost oh. Rick from Rick and Morty. Okay. Ever thought about that? Ghost. You never there think you about go. ghost Rick and Morty. Oh my God. <laughs> you should. Oh, and it flew off. Where'd that go? Uh, it it, it's off fire. to start a fire. Yeah, it's off to start a fire after seeing, you know, the person flip over in their car while you were riding your bike down the highway and then you didn't do anything and then it killed 14 people. Oh. Grant, why are you talking um, about a game that we're never going to play on stream? <laughs> because... <laughs> why is that the game be. that you're talking about? Oh. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that mind trick or mind hack, my mind, mind trick, mind trick, mind, mind trick, trick. Ghost hack. mind trick. Oh, that's why you haven't moved a little bit. We did, dude. Scuzzball, fucking look around. He's just imagining. You're things. gonna get fired. <laughs> I appreciate hard, the concerns, eh, but I do not care. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. It's She was big chillin' in there. Was she wait, was she really just reading in the suitcase? What in the Sasaba, so, this was you, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't remember her at all, but you know, that's fine. Uh I you're a professional, you got this. <laughs> you're a professor. What's going on here? This lady this little lady is the one we saved like fucking weeks ago, man. Years ago. Is this r little lady really the daughter of the justice minister? No, obviously not. Scuzzball's a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is awkward. Which is why I imagine she's standing in front of you. <laughs> oh, it's no. always just the imagination. What's with the f fun book and juice? That was almost your normal voice for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, always keep a smile on the lady's face. <laughs> this, this like weirdo accent you have going for Scuzzball really does sound like he's pretending to be a human. Like, like he's actually like a million bugs in a skin suit. Like trying to oh imitate God. on the face. I wanted to treat our guest well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. What a. I thought he was old. just about to slap her on the way. <laughs> <laughs> At your service, my dear. Be back in the flag. Hey, mister. Uh, yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. <laughs> More juice? I milk it straight from the fruit. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. oh, boy. <clears throat> Kidnap. Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're just horrifying blue monsters. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house! No, mm, no. This house is... Where I used no. to live. What the fuck? What's happening? What a fucking wild coincidence! <laughs> what are you talking about? Implausible. <laughs> Impossible. Oh it's not it. impossible, it's just implausible. It's mm. unlikely, but not impossible, you know? <laughs> I'm learning the English. What? Wait, wait. Improbable. Hang on, let me, let, me, let me fit every vowel except for the ones that were in there. We I would. I apologize, little lady. I am the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. <laughs> 
What's the meaning of this bounty? Why here at this old girl's <laughs> horse? Bounty. You gotta <laughs> listen, oh, Scuzzball. You gotta be careful, man. She's like twice your size and will easily flatten you like a penny. <laughs> Maybe that's what he wants. Oh. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, oh, shit. <laughs> don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh. Oh, I saw. I saw. I saw. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my milk and bread? Oh, of course. Now you'll be a good girl while I'm gone. Oh no. You just read your book and drink your juice. <laughs> that'd, you be, that'd be great if she's like, you're pretty. How do you how do you do all that with like your hair and stuff? And then like the the scene like fades out, fades back in when he comes back with the stuff. And Beauty's just like having a nice chat. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> no, like it, it fades out like, and she has the exact same haircut now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See, that would, that would be charming. That'd be really good. I want to go home. S Saba says to Saba. <laughs> Not quite yet. Saba says to Obo Stream. Yeah. Saba's Look, it's me talking to myself again. There's only two. <laughs> when it gets to four, that's when I step in. <laughs> when it gets okay. to four. When it gets to four. <laughs> Jesus. I'm saying, you're a professional. Deal with it. You are! When it's only the entire game. And you're everybody, It's your line, then. Saba, come on! No, this is you. I know, I'm making a joke. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> you're the main character. Oh, you're the main stream, character. Zach. You're Detective Jode. You're Lynn. You're Detective Elvis. Come on! You know this. Zach, you know that shapes and jokes, especially pranks, are not allowed on stream. It, it, cut, it cuts to, like, the credits oh, at the end of the video when I'm done when I'm done editing it, and it's, like, voice actors, and it's every character, and it's just Saba. 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 It's just voice actors and just feet. No, it'd be, funny if it, it'd be funny if Saba did every single voice, and at the end credits, every single voice actor is Zach. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I will upload it to the voice actors union and I will get admitted for Saba's work. I will get wow. admitted to SAG. Uh, this dilapidated place was Camilla's old house. What's going on here? I don't know. I didn't save her life, so she she shouldn't have a core. Oh, but she has. A core. <laughs> I think I think you're about to acknowledge what that. World? <laughs> Why does the little lady have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean... She must have died sometime after that. And it also means... Somebody else must have saved her. Oh, uh, so dying's not new to her, I guess. Guess not. I better ask her what happened. She's going for that record, too. <laughs> <laughs> the book. I wonder what the little lady's reading tonight. An exciting adventure story, maybe? God, I hate this music so much. <laughs> are we leaving? Are we not leaving? What do you think? <laughs> Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile? What? I keep on wanting to say missile. <laughs> Is that missile. you, Missile? <laughs> it's a missile, get down. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't make those kind of jokes for now. Uh, actually, but you know, you're, you're kind of, uh, that's, a good, uh, that's a good point. Actually, that's a good point. I wonder. I, does this mean that missile saved her life? I have no. Holy clue. cow! That'd be amazing. I'm sorry. I'm not missile. I am Cecil. Shockingly close in spelling, actually, just without the M and an extra I. My name's Cecil. Cecil? My name is Camilla. Camilla. So it is her. I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? Okay, never mind. She doesn't recognize it. 
I can hardly tell the poor little... I can hardly tell the poor little thing this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Ah, uh, darn. Oh. I forgot oh. there are no secrets in the ghost world. You fool. N you, you can relax. You're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I do remember. Sort of. You do? It looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. Hmm. So there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Don't we already know that? Wouldn't it be the lamp? Ray? Yeah, but that's just a... We just think Ray. that's a lamp, okay? Don't Mr. forget that. He has a name, man. Mr. Pixar. Mr. Pixar. Mr. Pixar. Number 13. Mr. Pixar. Number 13. Burger King foot fetish. Oh, it's foot no. lettuce. That's so much worse. Mm, I don't know, Zach. I think the other one is uh, perhaps more accurate. But number we'll, we'll number pleasure, 11. Okay? Burger King foot fetish. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure. Go ahead, sissy. That's really not. I, should I say CC? I, I am okay with sissy or CC, whichever one you say. Okay. Normally it's Cecil, so I guess it would be CC, but sissy is funnier. <laughs> I don't know. I may switch to CC. It doesn't make more sense. You tell me right now, because I'm going to go with whatever you say. I'm going to say CC. Sissy, eh? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. Oh, yeah. Where's the music box? I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? Temsic Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Temsic Park? Isn't that the the last time we heard Temsic was uh, nearsighted Jacob or whatever his name was when he was like, uh, he was hired to wipe all evidence of Temsic from the face of the earth. The instant at Temsic Park, yeah. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah, Lynn always said, I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temsic Park, eh? What am I going to do? Lynn's going to be mad. She is. How come? Because I left it there. The music box in the park. That's, that's right. The music box. It's pretty freaking important, actually. That music box what was hidden the in the apartment. Give me, give me one second. We're giving him. Oh. Oh, guys, I think he knows I'm outside his window. What do I do? Oh no! Get back! Uh, I, I sure fucking hope not, dude. It's like a, it's like a fucking avalanche of emergency vehicles going down the road. Like, like my, okay, like my. You, you attracted like, too much attention to yourself. Like my, no. my window faces like adjacent to a forest right so there's like there's like no roads over there or anything it was so bright through my window i could see the red and blue lights and it was crazy loud i hope no one's hurt <clears throat> you read this right yes okay i finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage i don't think she did you anything. plucked it off of a christmas tree yeah, she did not do anything. Guess where it was? <laughs> Wait, she can hear you! Hmm? I don't know. Where? I'll pretend I don't know. You know? You don't have to humor me. Oops. So what happened Oops. to the music box? Grant, what are you posting? What if we vibed? What if we fire? Oh my God. <laughs>
<laughs> That's pretty good. What if what happened? What would happen? What if we just vibed? Dude, what would happen? <laughs> dude, dude, what, what would happen? happen? <laughs> Gosh, I remember that fucking show. I do remember that fucking show. That it was like a uh, lot less uh, of a budget MythBusters. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And they were also myths that literally no one was wondering about. <laughs> yeah. True. That's true. It was the most stoner show, kid show for kids I've ever seen. Yeah. Okay. I hit it in terrible. The... Bring it back. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. A You're lot right, of Lawrence. those. That was one of those CN real shows, right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. That uh, I, I was thinking about it the other day, and I realized that uh, aside from obviously the most popular one, which was Destroy Build Destroy, a lot of those CN real shows were structured as if they were like YouTube shows. You know yeah. what I mean? No, you're pretty right about that. Because because I was thinking about it, where it was just like um, my my nephew was saying that apparently uh, recently I don't remember what channel he was watching, but they were just doing like this weirdo uh, news program. But the quote unquote <clears throat> news on this fake news program was uh, what happens when you put X in a blender. And it was like a 20 minute show where it was just a bunch of kids putting stuff in a blender. And I was like, that's not TV. That's YouTube, literally. <laughs> Anywho. Oh, that's early YouTube, too. I remember watching that kind of shit when I was, like, in the early 2010s. Sorry, <laughs> Sava, you can, you, can now, you can now read your lines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. What happened to your voice? Why did you suddenly I'm grow reeling. up by, like, a decade? <laughs> it's okay, I'll lean back into it. I was just... <laughs> I had to wait so long. I just progressed in years, you know, in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you're aging exactly like you're the aging like tribe. the end of the last crusade. <laughs> At the end of the dying tribe, Zach turns back to the screen and she has a beard now. Oh yeah. Just before. Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You know something I just noticed about the... Sorry, I know that I'm d doing another tangent here. So, on this totally legit DS that we're playing on, obviously there's a top screen and a bottom screen. This particularly makes it very well known, what's top and what's bottom screen. The entire time that we've been playing games on my totally legit DS, I have been clicking on the bottom screen, assuming that that was... Sorry, I mean tapping on the bottom screen, assuming that that was where the stylus would have to be right i just realized i could click anywhere on the screen and it progresses forward all right oh nice i wonder i i wonder i wonder why that is i wonder if that's a feature of this totally legit ds or if the ds itself always had that functionality but the obviously the distinction is that you can't click on the top screen in a regular ds i don't know i just thought of that don't know you did well. So the music box is in the park. I better t let Lynn know. This is your old house? Yep. This is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep. She's a detective. You know, she's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father. Is he the justice minister? My father is... gone. Gone? Maybe he passed away? No, that's not it. My dad... He's going to die, and it's all because of me. Is... oh, wait. What? Is li what if she's the okay okay I think I think I so Lynn's not his daughter right Correct. she's she's the person who saw her mom get killed by potentially her father when you say she you oh. mean Camilla yeah I think that that is pretty reasonable in that case who the hell was trying to kidnap Lynn and why like so um, many years ago at the park I don't know. What? What do you mean, because of me? Why would you say that? 
It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. No way. Don't tell me your father is Detective Joad. That's right. <laughs> it reads kind of like a soap opera. It's like, oh, <gasps> 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 your dad is that guy. <laughs> what Free in the, the world? Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago, that murder case. Hey, little girl, I'm going to ask you about the murder of your mom. It was mom's birthday that day. My mom and dad were working and I was home by myself. And then I had an idea. I was going to surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. Rube Goldberg machine? Another right, because it's a birthday Ooh. present with a cake underneath and it's party streamers and stuff like that. But why did she want to shoot her mom with a gun on the wall? Oh my god. The ultimate surprise. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> She'd never see it coming. He's been alive for one too many years. <laughs> I want that inheritance now. Oh. <laughs> I know I'm in her will. I have no idea who this is. Oh, oh I heard that. What the gun? from the superintendent are you shitting me so is that why he's like yep i killed her because otherwise his daughter oh, would be in trouble oh my yeah. god i can't could believe you, i was actually could, right could you that. imagine actually, that she like there, there's no way that she could possibly be so naive that she thought that the gun on the wall was another party popper so like no, isn't she like a little bit? I can't actually tell. It would have been five years ago, smart. so I would assume she would be single digits in age, because she must be like eleven or twelve. Hmm. I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. How was it supposed to work? You had a gun. And also, your contraption vicariously killed Lynn. <laughs> hmm. I know that contraption. And I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake. A birthday message. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. We should have had Grant read that. <laughs> <laughs> My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. What? Dang. What? But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said that I, what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. Forget this, about it. This is all so unbelievably tragic. This is beyond fucked, dude. What the hell? <laughs> and it's so sad because it's five years ago, so we can't save her. No. Nope. Yep. She's, she's gone. I can't believe it. This little lady's Detective Jode's daughter. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. <laughs> oh, fucking... Damn it, Cecil! Oops. There's Oops. no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we'd better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Cece, you're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we'd better get you out of here first. We could talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. You just hold on a little longer, all right? You have to kill beauty. Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised me, Cece. You gotta kill beauty just like you killed, um... 
Jigo. <laughs> Nearsighted Jigo. Or one step ahead Florngo I mean, or whatever his name was. One. Florngo. Florngo. He, he almost had long snart. Blong, but look one, it up. one step, step ahead, ahead Blong yeah, Snart. Yeah, look it up, Blong Snart. He's like a big nerdy guy. He like looks stuff up. <laughs> yeah. look, look it up, Blong Snart. Look it up, Blong Snart. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Hey, look it up, Blong Snart. <laughs> he got it, boss. So get the info right away. Like, like, like he's still a hitman. Like he's he's still a hitman, and he has like uh, he I don't know he has like a revolver or something like that, just something like kind of cool. And every time somebody like asks him a question and he doesn't know it, he just pulls out an encyclopedia and looks up like what it is. And that's how you defeat him is by constantly like delaying him <laughs> with like, huh? How were the pyramids built? He, and he like looks he's up. like. Yeah, he, he's like, he's super, like, he loves learning about stuff, but he doesn't know much to begin with, so he's constantly having to learn stuff constantly. Oh, what if he had, like, a memory problem? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, it's, it's like, it's like one of my favorite stands ever, where he can only remember, like, five, like, interesting facts. Uh, anyway, please, please resume, Sava. Look at oh. long here. What took you so long? Uh oh, I traveled the entire town search of the finest breed and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. Oh, right. She has the sixth sense. She knows that Cecil's been talking with the, <laughs> the uh, Camilla. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet her? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. Um, I don't like this one beat. We have to run around doing all these extra work, all for the sake of this dial. Be quiet. Please. I'm trying to He's insert melting. every single vowel that's not there. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking killing me. I said this line. Yeah, she said it. She said this line. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. That's only the point. Oh, no. Okay. no. <laughs> As you hash play out high. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. It's a gas leak. <laughs> oh no! Uh, so I said all the candles. That's, that's like the worst Mario. One. It's a gas leak. It's oh, a man. gas leak. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is is she talking to me? I can sense your presence. You know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. I mean, what are we supposed to do? We need to leave the room? Or I guess after, like, they leave, need just, like, you better not leave. follow me. Yeah. All right, we're leaving. Oh, my God. But now if there's somebody else who has the powers of the dead that's saving people, how fucked would it be if they find her and then she dies and then we have to go save her life by getting the other ghost to be like, yo, no, 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 no. You don't understand. Don't don't do this. Hold on. Poor damn. Sorry, shit, hang on. Poor damn me, little lady. <laughs> hey, Lawrence, can I ask you? Can I ask you to do me a favor? <laughs> you to take away the voice can you? Me. Can no, 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 no. I'm not taking it away from you. This is good. Uh, but I, I, <laughs> Lawrence, could I ask you to uh, take a quick screen snip of this guy's face and then Photoshop him onto the front of a Quaker Oats? <laughs> Box. Why? <laughs> I don't know because I want to see what it looks like. Is it just the hat? It's mostly the hat. All right, I'll... give me five minutes. Do you need the Be screen snip, or do you, or or can I proceed? I grabbed it. You got I grabbed it. it. So go ahead. Okay. She just folds. Not the book. Oh, am, am I in the book? I guess. Oh yeah, Whoa. I had to. I was in the book Whoa. when I connected to her brain. 
Her brain. Her brain. Her odious brain. All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Where'd the where'd the clock go? Where'd the plot go? The plot walked out the room with the rest of beauty, but <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> alone in the room that stole all that. I remember that was a joke that me and my friend Jared made uh, a while ago because uh, there's that common archetype or that common like trope, I guess, of like main characters having plot armor, where like you know they'll go into a battle and survive because they have to for the plot. But then there was uh, during that period of time there was a lot of gifts going around of giant titted anime women bouncing around with the word plot pl following one boob and ot following the other and it was like oh, and it was a lot of fun and i remember and i remember jared being like ha, ha, plot armor and then i thought about it for a second i was like ha, 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 just the idea of armor that's just me a giant anime titties and it's like i got it i'm untouchable <laughs> i've done it i have made the ultimate plot armor Eureka. Finally, <laughs> uh, ultimate plot armor. Alone in a, alone in the room that stole the little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady's gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts, a few very heavy, sad facts. Does Lena know about I'm all hungry. this? <laughs> Boy, am I hungry! One thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence some of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? <laughs> Does the blue man group have an inside man in the ghost trick realm? <gasps> the red man in the blue six man right group. Now? I'll, just go to, oh, I'll just go to save slot five. Or save slot two. There's a lot of chapters in this. I things are based on a clock, right? So I was almost wondering if 12 would be the last. Oh, is it, are we here? I don't know. Maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, also, just to indicate how close I was to just uh, wasting all of our time, uh, I was going to save to save slot two and I forgot to hold shift. So I held control instead. Uh, uh oh. Luckily, control and then a function key is mapped to nothing. But if it was mapped to its default action, I would have just loaded save slot two, which was three weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> and so we would have had to have gone back to the beginning of stream and done everything again. Fun. Oh, glad you didn't do that. Yeah. It looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jode's daughter, Camilla. Not the minister's daughter, whatever her name was. Drill hair. Drill hair. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. <laughs> Kabachi all up in there. <laughs> I told Lynn what I had found out about the kidnapping. That it wasn't the justice minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house. And that they sensed my presence uh, and were already gone. But Camilla, why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't that... The stupid old justice minister. Can okay, he, come on. He just he had hear? a heart attack, okay? Can he hear this? Because he's in proximity and he also recently died? I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl kidnapped from for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much. Can we just tell the justice minister? Not, it's not no. his daughter? <laughs> it's a cruel twist of fate. I agree. And then there are those other twists, too. Like the kidnappers winding up and, and winding up in and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. 
There's no way it could be just a coincidence. It's almost like this is all written by somebody. <laughs> and them <laughs> sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. Same. Ditto. I told you before, detective. I want you to stand back. Thank you, Mr. Brimley. Eat your oatmeal. Eat your oatmeal. Eat your oatmeal. Who cares about distance at a time like this? My favorite part about our eat your oatmeal joke from yesterday is that that wasn't Wilford Brimley. That was that was Dan Avidan trying to do uh, Howard Taft. Wilford Brimley. Oh, was it Howard yeah, Taft? Because he looks like Howard Wilford Taft. Brimley. <laughs> eat your oatmeal. Get me oatmeal. Look, Mr. Minister. Wait, is it get me oatmeal or eat your oatmeal? Eat your, eat your oatmeal. But I like, yeah. Yeah, I like get me oatmeal. <laughs> get, get me oatmeal. Get me oatmeal. I need it. It wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to, don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. Pretend. No, 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 not my oatmeal. How can I believe in you? I'm a realist. Please, if you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. She won't? It, it, it's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? <laughs> it doesn't prove it. I mean, I get what she's saying, but at the same time, yeah, you know, you need concrete evidence. And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make if that's not it? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, I'm all, 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 all. Hey, oh, 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 real, real quick question. When did this game come out again? Ghost uh, trick. Tomorrow. Came out tomorrow. Thanks. Ghost yeah. Trick came out in 2010. When did the first iPhone come out? When? 2008? Did the first iPhone? Uh, it was 2007, so you were close enough. And then, I don't know, you could probably say that it took like three or four years for smartphones to really pick up the pace. So I guess that's fine. Especially since Shu Takumi wrote Ace Attorney as if it was in 2017 and they were using fucking VHS tapes as evidence. So I guess <laughs> it's fine. Because I was just thinking about it. But could you imagine like a revive? Eat your oatmeal. <laughs> eat your oatmeal. <laughs> Oh, I thought established. I thought that was a question mark. Established? <laughs> established? Uh, maybe? Maybe? Established? 1887? Who knows? 1877? Oh, thank that's you what, so much, that's Lawrence. That's what Jerry over there explains. Hey, Lawrence, did you... Uh, I, I'm assuming you just used, like, a lasso tool to cut him out or whatever. But did yeah. you also, like, put a fucking blur filter over him so that way he matched the shitty quality of the JPEG? No, I, I took a tiny snippet and it was already a shitty quality. So like, oh, so then you blew it up and it matched better. Yeah. Okay. Because that's that's shockingly well done. <laughs> like that's really <laughs> good. <laughs> Eat your oatmeal. Eat your oatmeal. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> could you imagine like a revival of Ghost Trick where instead of having to travel by phone line, you can just like wander around with Lynn as she has a smartphone in her pocket and you can just you can just like zoop all over the city at a moment's notice. Oh my god. That'd be incredible. That's a good point. Oh, this is Adrian. Oh, Adrian. Johnny what Bravo. This is oh. uh, Detective Elvis. What the fuck voice did I do for him again? Uh, Elvis. I suggested like Johnny Bravo or Elvis. It's the same. Ooh, wee, that's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister, quite a pickle. Yeah, that's pretty close to what you were doing before. I think I was doing a better voice. I can't remember it, though. Just warm up to it. You're fine. M miss me, baby. 
I think it's closer. Oh, wait, wait. I need my list. Hold on. <laughs> it's like the candle. <laughs> and yes, Thomas like, can. fuck, I had to cross that one off. <laughs> that one was already crossed off. Okay. <clears throat> Inspector Carnation. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good, that's just a good name. Is that a flower? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Inspector Carcinogen. Oh no, <laughs> get away no. from him. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Okay, now I'm <laughs> I have a point for you, Mr. Minister. Oh, I'm losing wow, every other line. Wow, deep bow. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. That would be, once again, this game has like great animations because of the rotoscoping. That would be hilarious if he went to go do that like deep bow and you just heard hit all of his joints like popping. Like he's like, uh, <laughs> he's like, ah, I haven't done this in a bit. <laughs> I'm 40 years old. Did he bring Jode? Oh my god, he did. Apparently. What the fuck is up with the guards? It's like Jode. Oh yeah, you, you never saw these guards, Grant? Never did, never saw the fucking really? Buckingham Palace guards. Yeah, their hat looks exactly like this tip of their spear. Their hat looks like... Their, their spears look like they're sheathed. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure they don't poke anybody. You know, any ceiling people. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn. Please don't apologize to me. <laughs> I'm I'm like I'm like it, within like the soul of the phone that I'm currently inhabiting. I'm just shouting to Lynn like, bring me to him! I yes. know about Camilla! <laughs> <laughs> Throw your phone! <laughs> just fucking whip the phone at him, come on! But he'd know you're here. Yeah, he should sense me, that's true. Yeah. Oh shit, sorry. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. Oh my god. Oh Maybe shit, am I doing it? Maybe we can over to him. You wanna go talk to him? Dude, I can talk to <laughs> everybody. They're, they're the, on, the, the only people that I can't talk to are the people who need to bridge my path in between me and Jode. I'll talk to I'll talk to the defense minister first. My poor Emily, is she all right? Actually, the girl who was kidnapped is named Camilla. Why is a dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute, Emily? Could that be the Emily next door? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just like shaking her by the shoulders yes <laughs> wow i didn't Got know it. the justice minister lived next door no not me my wife it's uh, complicated <laughs> cecil <laughs> cecil you e fool every Yikes. time yeah God, i yeah, bet it'd be pretty is. hard to admit she left him the minister's wife ran away on him? Maybe they grew apart. What, with him being so busy? Yeah, I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping <laughs> about me inside my own head. Wait, wait, wait. We're, wait, wait, we're, we're going to be the on, people to give him that's another heart good, attack that's by this point. a good point. question. Are, are the minister and Lynn now talking telepathically? I think so. I think everyone's here. So as long as I like initiate, so as long as I can initiate the conversation, anybody within proximity can talk to each other instantaneously through telepathy. That'd be sick. Can we commercialize the dead? Can we do now that? Now you're thinking like a capitalist. <laughs> now you're thinking like Disney. 
<laughs> See, all we got to do, all we got to do is like, I got to hire somebody. It's going to be like an Uber service, right? We're going to hire them. I'm going to shoot them in the head and then set a watch for 23 hours. All right. So that way their body will still be able to like go back in time so they can save their own life. Right. Or actually, sorry. I have to shoot two people so they can save each other. That makes sense. And then when they're doing that, people will pay me in order to have these guys do instant telepathy among their friends. I don't know if anyone would buy that, but they could. You huh? have to call a lot of people because not all ghosts have these powers, remember? They're, they're oh, uncommon. Oh, shit, that's true. Well, I mean, if we do law of large numbers, eventually will mean that we'll figure <laughs> out who has the special powers. I was going to wow. say, you'll get there eventually, probably, maybe. Lawrence, you can say wow, but listen, if we kill 500 people, as long as one of those people has a ghost trick ability or like the ability to do the special powers, they can save all 499 other people. And then the last one is in my employee for a day. That's pretty good. Right. Don't you also have to time it so that like, you're at you're at night at the very beginning of when the sun is down because when the sun comes up they fade so you have them from half a day. That's just ske that's just night. scheduling. That's fine. It's, it's a very tight window of operation right, at a very but, inconvenient time. Right, but have you ever been able to telepathically communicate with someone else before? I didn't think so. No. <laughs> exactly. It's an experience. But what if it isn't? This does sound like the shittiest Craigslist ad where it's like Craigslist posting where it's like telepath but only at night with people that I choose. <laughs> come to come to 450 Bakersdale, uh, bring $400 in cash. No questions asked. You can telepathize. You get to you can speak telepathy with up to six people of your choosing. According to what I heard, Amelie is supposed to be in some sort of lesson tonight. Or was supposed to be at some sort of lesson. Those horrible kidnappers, they were lying in wait for her. Were the, was her lesson supposed to be at the park? At night? But Amelie didn't go out after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. And then I huh? got a description. And so the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake instead? Apparently. Um, Amelie and Camilla are about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. Oh man, it's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh yeah, we're gonna think about this. Yeah, I oh, knew right. it! Alright, you asked her to bring the music box. Camilla... You know, you're a bad big sister. It's true. I would love to... You use flap the phone. The flag. I would like. Well, I can. I can flap. You want to flap? You want to flap? We'll flap it. We'll oh, we got. There's a conversation. Here. My bad. Oh. You knew, didn't you, Inspector Camel? Oh. That's a good one. Okay, delete. My list is getting small. <laughs> that the execution was tonight. I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. Obligation. What the fuck is that? Yeah. I don't and believe I had any obligation this? to tell you. I mean, you know as well as I do. You know the rules. And so <laughs> do I. Joke? Could never have done such a thing. Uh -huh. Oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty, and two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He tried to escape from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here... ...to brag about your accomplishment, isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons. I should smack you. <laughs> you get, you get so were out. all those rumors about you true? 
that the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Yes. Thank you for being... Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby, 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 baby. baby. Look at it. Look at his nose right now. It's so angular. It's so droopy. Looks yeah, flaccid. it looks like Squidward's nose. Flaccid <laughs> nose. You'll understand someday, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but Detective Jode. I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But. Oh, he's closer now. <laughs> he stepped closer so I can talk to his brain. No. Yes. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear uh, something happen. Something about a kidnapping? Sug kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution tonight. <laughs> I had no idea I was so hated, but the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. L Except fucking your God. daughter. Du, du, du. It's not that Wait. simple. You're She's across, across the, the room. room. Dude, I'm Doesn't everywhere. Mean... Don't you know? I Doesn't can... that mean that the I justice minister is also listening? <laughs> Doesn't that mean that Inspector Elvis and the two guards are listening? No, because we haven't say they don't have cores. Oh, okay. I think it's whoever has a core. I, I, I still think that that's true. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. What? Camilla? I checked it out my... I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No, it can't be! And... By the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said that the one killed her father. father. Plot twist. Her father. <laughs> she said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him. I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer any more after tonight. You're right, she'll be dead. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. <sighs> you dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. This is a unique it's true. sprite. Yeah. We haven't seen this before. It'll Enough bring her new down. suffering with the power of Amazon Prime. <laughs> bring her new suffering Whoa. with the power of Amazon Prime. I should stick that on the side of a box. New suffering with the power of Amazon Prime. Like, that should be their new marketing campaign. Yeah. Just new pain. <laughs> Put it on Amazon Prime. I mean. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. Uh, uh, is it true what Camilla said? <laughs> I like the idea of Lynn going, uh, is it true? <laughs> She's like I looking at her watch. <laughs> um, another unique sprite. Dun, dun, dun. Why don't you tell us what you know? Oh my God. The powers of it. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's almost birthday. Well, let me tell you, there was a Ruth Goldberg machine. There was that a fucking ridiculous Ruth Goldberg machine. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? You know, how I said that I think that the game would stop at chapter 12, or maybe I was hoping that it would stop at around chapter 12 just for the sake of like being nice and neat. Uh, right. Earlier, I was looking up some sprites to try and update the the what you calls it the overlay background and i did see a sprite of cecil that was incredibly unique 
and it is impossible for us to have this sprite at this current juncture. Like, it wouldn't make okay, any that's sense. fine. Afterwards, though. He's wearing a blue suit, and then he goes into law. And then he goes and into he law. And he has blue skin. Yeah. Oh. We came home from work, and she went in first. She fucking died. She, she absolutely, just absolute Oh my god, he didn't see the Goldberg machine go off? Oh, it all fell perfectly bad. What was that noise? Oh my god! I would look for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. Just a gun on the wall with smoke coming out the yeah. barrel. What could it be? <laughs> there was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla. Just the two of them. Just the two of them. So that's just, just the they two of us. They could make it if they tried. Just, just the two, two of them. So the little lady's just mother died two. right in front of her. Oh my. That's so horrible. Oh my wa mo shinde. Oh my wa mi shinde ru. Camilla told Why do you say that like Trump? Shinde ru. Oh my wa mo. Oh my wa mo. Shinde ru. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to do. Made an impossible move. An impossible move. Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were, little two very, little, there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of the gun. Right. That was an antique gun I had on display for years. Why? Gun. So that wasn't part of the, li of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. She was definitely surprised. And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? Lynn, you were there, please. <laughs> you Lynn, you died to this already. Yeah. Pa 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 pa. Oh, was it supposed to light the candle? Yes, if you if you recall, yeah. that's how we saved Lynn's life. Was that we spun this thing in the other direction? Because it was because um, in Lynn's version of the contraption, it went up facing right, shot the yeah, candle above shot the this thing, thing yeah, and then yeah. shot the gun right. And that's how okay. we ended up saving Lynn was by working our way over there and spinning it left so it would shoot across the birthday candles and light the poppers. So. I think this is implying that someone ghost tricked the fucking oh, Cupid. Oh, yeah, I was just think someone, uh, oh, ghosts killing people. Be because I can, because I can, tr I can oh do ghost God. tricks while I'm in the present. I just haven't really had the need to do that just quite yet, really, uh, other than moving around. So if someone was a ghost and was malicious, they could very easily like ghost trick into something to kill someone. Maybe it's Damn, a blue. Maybe it's scary. a blue man group thing. Maybe Ray killed someone. <gasps> I think we already have maybe. a pretty good theory as to who Ray is. Maybe it was nearsighted Chico back from the dead. Maybe it was. Oh, maybe no. it was post death Lego or whatever. Post mortem Lego. Yeah, post mortem what? Lego. Post mortem post Mario. Legends. Post mortem Mario. Yay. Somebody made it. Oh, wait, no. Who is it? Who is this? I think this is Saba. Uh, I don't know. As Lynn? Somebody made a change to the contraptions design and then manipulated it. Yeah, that's true, actually, because that doesn't even make any sense. It couldn't have just been a ghost because uh, the additional stuff with the freaking gun was set up. A ghost can't do that. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to pre protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to a scene and turned myself in. Fucking okay, what's your adjustment? What kind of adjustment? I lowered the saturation. The gun, of course. 
the gun, eh? Come to think of it. There was no gun. Yeah, there you go. I noticed that too. There was no gun there. Just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption. But one thing was for certain. That gun was still smoking. Ah, so it was still smoking. So the gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. <laughs> I, like what? I like great having you a realization like, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you mean... And that detective still thinks it's a music box. Oh shit. Sorry. Sorry, I double clicked it. Microsoft Office Word. Oh my god. Give me a now second. Now's not the time for an essay, Zach. I know, I'm sorry. Zach, you can't be making new characters yet. We haven't finished the game. Fuck! <laughs> How did you know I was gonna write a fan a, a fan treatment of Ghost Trick 2? <laughs> Electric Trickaloo. Ooh. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, ew. <laughs> I don't want anyone doing an electric trickle on me, personally. Yeah, me I think it's an invasion of a uh, personal privacy and comfort. And the Geneva Convention. And the Geneva Convention. So that's what was in the box, huh? It was in the box, huh? Yeah. I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police. My own pistol. I had to shoot my wife's dead body. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. oh my god, I had to shoot her and then shoot the wall or like in a corner of the room somewhere where no one ever checks so that way my gun had two bullets missing <laughs> It's like oh my god And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into details When I was all done, I turned myself in The powers of the dead. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I convinced everyone of, even me. But tonight, you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. That someone... yeah, okay. The powers of the dead, right? That day, in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Man, could you imagine? like an evil mafia, like cabal sort of thing that discovers like, yo, sometimes when people die, they become a ghost with fucking powers. We Dude, should we use that do to take stuff over with the this. world. Yeah. We should kill the current justice minister. It like place this fucking weak ass Wilford Brimley. That way no one will ever persecute us again. He doesn't do anything. He just talks about oatmeal. We're good. He just keeps asking people if they ate their oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about these powers. True. Only everyone I've ever encountered in this game. <laughs> Everybody post. I mean, that being said, we haven't actually talked to Beauty yet, so it does make sense that she has a sixth sense. But once again, sixth sense is developed after you're saved from death. So I guess the Mafia does really have a ghost on their staff. <laughs> they got someone on their payroll. The kidnappers knew who... Or the kidnappers who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jode. There's still time before dawn. A little anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? That's a weird thing to end off on. Yeah, man. Well, that happened. I'm currently in that soldier's spear. <laughs> nice. 
Detective Jode, is what you told us just now true? Yes, of course. <laughs> Detective Elvis is like, huh? What? <laughs> Whoa, slow down there. Whoa. Whoa, In that slow down case, there. there's still time. Still time. Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jode. And of course, little Camilla didn't do it either. I mean, um, uh, I mean, she had an interaction, you know? I mean, you know, there's some. Like, listen, yeah. Rube Gober machines are naturally illogical. We all know this. Especially <laughs> when the motherfucker puts stuff like cannons and swords into his drawings. You shouldn't emulate that, Camilla. <laughs> I'm still thinking of our idea of the, the Pythagorean switch video that ends with someone getting <laughs> shot. <laughs> at the end of each one, instead of a little flag going up and going ding, it's just a gun. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> oh yes, but it is it is true that a ghost maybe pro probably did. The, yeah. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. So yeah, we do have a ghost that technically is guilty. You know, not that you know, but we can't really put him in but jail. But could you imagine if we say. save the ghost? Well, because ghosts disappear at dawn, right? So so could you imagine if it's like a new ghost all the time like they just find new people and bring them back to uh, or and like kill them so that way they have a ghost for 24 hours for like a special operation and like the ghost who's been fucking around with people tonight we bring them back to life to go back in time to bring that ghost back to life and then we arrest them and it's like oh my god <laughs> jesus it's fucking it's like imagine imagine like a DD &D universe that's set in like the modern day so it's all you know like modern trappings and whatnot and you have a uh, police detective who's just a priest that resurrects a dead person and is just like who did it <laughs> who done it beans for camilla's sake he's like okay he jumps out the window yeah, okay. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jode. Lynn, where is that music box now? In Tempstick Park. Camilla left it there. I just imagine, yeah, everyone surrounding them is just like, what the hell are they talking yeah, about? I think it's, literally, I think it's literally just the guards and Detective Elvis, because in theory, the like, despite the fact that he's a little bitch, the justice minister should have heard all that. He might be too busy eating oatmeal. <laughs> eating oatmeal. Yes, sir, I'll go right now. Cecil, take care of Detective Joe. Please don't turn towards the camera when you do that. <laughs> Look directly at you, right there. Yeah, you, Point. have you been eating your oatmeal? <laughs> like, Lynn, why are your eyes such a demonic blue? <laughs> hey, you've been playing this game for a while. Why and do something break? about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. Okay. You just. <laughs> they don't even care, I guess. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. Adrian. Adrian. Oh, sorry. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row Inmate. A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I just can't go off to die without doing something. But you are in our custody, don't forget. I like how that doesn't phase him, him being like, my daughter's kidnapped. He's, He's like, like, okay. Yeah, the first Back thing I have to do, prison. you dead. <laughs> Everyone's waiting with a special seat just for you, baby. Baby, baby. Then I guess we better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I almost thought he said... I don't get it. Didn't, double, didn't, man, didn't we have a her. whole scene with Detective... Elvis in like the office being like we have we still have some time to save him. I don't remember uh, that. Mm. You're you're talking about when he was with the police chief, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that whole scene is really fuzzy to me. So maybe you're right because the only real thing I remember from it is the security footage of Lynn shooting us. 
you know? I mean, I, yeah, I remember. I was weird because I remember Wait a him minute. being concerned, but I just don't. Are I don't we, get what he's Are we like a this. professional ghost hitman? Sick. Do do we work no, for the we, do we, we work for the though, right? do we work for the blue man group because we know that we have special ghost powers we die do what we're hired to do i.e like get Alma killed and then we go back in time and save our own life and then that's how we're we able to do this over life. and over we cannot save our own life we kinda can we can go back in time in someone else's death to figure that out. I, well, because I'm thinking, well, I, I yes, uh, what, yes, Saba, it's a bit complicated. <laughs> I can't imagine anything in this game not being complicated. Because I'm just thinking about, like, remember when we died, there was a, uh, there was a cat that jumped out of the suitcase that we were carrying? Yeah. I'm wondering if the cat dies. Well, I guess cats have nine lives, but I wonder if the cat dies, similar <laughs> to Missile, can we use the cat's death to save our own life as well? Who knows? Dun, dun, dun. And that's all there is to it. Bedrim. I see my old friend in more ways than one. I'm multitasking right now, sorry. No, oh, 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 oh! The moves. What say move. you, Mr. 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 The major decision. Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Execute. Execute the order 66. Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. He goes from so smug to so panicked so quickly. <laughs> As you wish, your excellency. So many eggs. Please, don't bow down to me. And especially not that low. I can hear your joints cracking. <laughs> In that case, can I have one of the boys arrange a prison van to pick him up? Well, how'd you get him here? I know, I think they want a specific kind of van. <laughs> we, we, we used a Flintstones car. <laughs> 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 All our legs are really Whoa. tired Whoa. now. Whoa! Did you see oh that animation? Oh my god! This that kind of animation is fucking impossible today. The van should take about ten minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mister Death Row inmate? Fucking all right. So I think we have to get to the park, right? Because if we can stop the kidnapping, the minister will stop the order of execution. I mean, we can't Ooh. stop the kidnapping. Dude, She's in the park's right after the minister's up. They planned this. <laughs> they know. They know. They know. It's almost well, like this is what was intended. Well, is this is this Tensic Park? It says park. Yeah. I, I don't really see anywhere else to go. Moonlit Courtyard is that. Camilla's Old House is that. All right, let's go to the park. Park. Man, this game's fucking cool. Ghost Although, actually, two. so we know that the minister's daughter isn't kidnapped, but she's not home. That's that's concerning now that I remember that. The entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. That same guy is alive again. Hey, look at that. The detective's back. <laughs> but we haven't seen his front yet. <laughs> Come <here. laughs> Without knowing the situation, this scene would look pretty suspicious. Okay. Frick yeah, I guess that's wrong. Are we supposed to save him? Are we supposed to help him escape the office? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Well, well there's you want to escape the greatest show ever. There, there's, there's the office. Nice. Uh, 
there's 10 minutes until the van comes. My assumption, which once again, usually wrong, but my assumption is that we have roughly 10 minutes within anime time to break the kidnapping so that way uh, at least Camilla isn't captured anymore. So that way the minister will say no while they're still in the office. That was that would be my assumption. I have no evidence to support this. Because the other thing is that in the office, there's nothing else to connect to. You know? It looks like the old pigeon guy decided to go somewhere else. There's something very off about this place. Old dusty junk side by side with well-maintained equipment. Anyway, it doesn't look like things are going to change much for a while. I just wanted to go down to look at... Oh, I can't. There's no footstool. Never mind. Fuck me. Uh, not the guard room, not the bait. Well... Actually, that's where I wanted to check. Send somebody's presence. Oh, tonight is probably our last chance. <laughs> if he doesn't come here tonight, mm, I don't know. Hmm. I think this silence is starting to get to me. This Could old this man, old is man apparently... know of a ghost? Can he like? I don't know if he's. No I don't know if he knows of a ghost. Maybe he does. But it's Goat suspicious man. to me that this superintendent is fascinated with Camilla's uh, Rube Goldberg machine, you know? Well, no, he's wondering why it turned. Maybe that's the thing. Oh, and he's, inv he's oh my like god, is he and he's investigating fucking ghosts? Mate, well, I don't know Ooh. if he's investigating ghosts, but like, I feel like he's been stuck figuring out like, why the hell is this, like, how did this turn? And just he hasn't been able to figure it out because obviously, you know, it, it nothing doesn't make any happened. sense to a regular person. Yeah. Yeah. Does he have a conversation bubble? No. It's also not a perfect recreation because there are some additions to this room that aren't in Camilla's original house. All right. Yeah, like he's not supposed to be here. <laughs> yes, like him. Yeah. All right. Well, that was interesting, and he's waiting for somebody, but we're not going to be able to find anything. Special investigation, let's go! Now I'm just kind of curious about different areas. I'm hoping that Jake Jonah Jameson's here. <gasps> nope. Fuck. He didn't even put on his shoes? Hmm. Highly suspicious. Agreed. Mm, I think I'm good. So they left. But, actually, I just realized we can't get too close to Camilla because Beauty will sense us and shoot the girl. Yeah. Hmm. So if I was Beauty, where would I just randomly pick to go? I don't really have much of an idea. Oh, look, the daughter's back. I, I, never mind. I mean, just Ooh. as I thought. She's dead. She's dead. The little girl is safe in her bed. She's gonna die, though. The mom is too neglectful. Oh, wow. This is where I was supposed to go. Okay, cool. Very cool. Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. Ooh. All of the different types of, like, crime that Ice Attorney will never touch. <laughs> <laughs> His last link in the long chain of, uh, of a sad fate lit a fire in Jode's heart. And the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I guess. I'm getting a strange premonition. A deadly premonition, if you will. Everything that oh. happened so far tonight was... Fucking, I, re I read that wrong. Uh, was related back to me in some way. 
and I bet this mistake-ridden abduction does too. Mistaken-ridden? Chapter 13. God, could you imagine it was 24? Oh, oh my god. Chapters. Well, because the game was supposed to be like, what, 16 hours long, right? Ish. Right, and we're on episode 6, so we're at 18. Well, we're voicing too, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But but the, but this is the thing, like how like how how much? Do, well, I guess we also banter a lot. Yeah, true. <laughs> so banter. I visited the novelist's apartment again. I'm hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. Give them the real minister's daughter. As long as there's a possibility that it could be his own daughter. Who was kidnapped i doubt the justice minister will call off the execution but i have to get the wife to actually be a mom <laughs> be like hey oh i gotta get her to die and then save her life so i can talk to her <laughs> yikes oh, time to kill her the key to dispelling the minister's doubts is now in bed coughing and i need to kill her through all that plot armor <laughs> we gotta kill the daughter nope <laughs> Sorry, little one. <laughs> I'm sorry, little one. Sacrifices must be made. Oh my god, could you imagine? Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> um, uh, well, no, sorry, because now I'm thinking about it, because it's like, actually, is there anything that would prevent? Like, if we go, like, let's say there was, like, I don't know, a bowling ball on, like, the shelf above her head or something, right? And we ghost trick it so it falls and she dies. There's nothing preventing us from just accessing her, like, core and then saving her life, right? Except mm. killing her, I guess, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, right, like, killing her would obviously be bad, but if we save her life, it's the same thing, but now she has a core so we can talk to her. And I'm just thinking about it. Well, I guess we have to wait for her to be conscious, but I'm thinking about it now, and I'm like, I wonder if you could have did the same thing with Alma. Like, if a ghost kills her, could that ghost then have saved her life? I don't know. I, mean, I guess. It's only if they can ghost trick. Right. But if my theory about it being... Cecil... Oh yeah, Grant, have you seen this lady before? Yeah. Okay. I haven't seen the daughter before. Oh, I, I haven't seen her sprite, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who did this? this hey, Lawrence, doing. give me your worst, like, lady voice. My was darling was... angel. That's perfect. I was doing this a while ago. Pretty good, actually. That's Lawrence, actually astonishingly perfect. Lawrence, you do it. I don't want to. <laughs> My darling angel. Oh, I just listen. To, just listen to that cough. You naughty thing. Did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night and play? I am the daughter after my own heart. I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. I was too busy slamming these drinks down. Yeah. <laughs> and thinking of, what is it? S -s like, C boss or whoever she writes about in like those novels. She, oh, actually, now that you mentioned that, that makes a lot more sense. She just wants romance from her, from her husband because all of her, uh, all the stuff, like last time we were here, all of her stuff was between some woman, like some nameless woman and, uh, and the justice minister in her story. And that's before we learned that her husband was the justice minister. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Uh, in theory, this was Saba. However, if but Saba, I think this is you, Zach, if actually. Saba is willing to put up with it, I do have a voice in mind. What you go ahead? I don't. I think I don't remember. Possible doing. voice you can think of. <laughs> I no, I think I've got a voice, and I think I definitely can imagine what. I didn't get Snack. to play. Yes, I knew <laughs> there it. There it is. I want to buy Saba a present. Present. This is the worst fucking family in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh they all sound terrible. He said he wanted a new lighter. 
No, he said he wanted to be lighter. He's fat, you see. <laughs> but no, the boy, huh? But that's no reason to go out this late at night. Mom, why do you sound like that? But my fever finally went down. I could barely move before that. <laughs> She's dying. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it was the feverish passion of my darling angel. God, she's like my mom. In what Mama? way? Finding an <laughs> yeah. excuse to drink at it. Finding an excuse to drink at every hour of the day. Uh, yes, darling. Let's yeah, go, Papa, and wish him a happy birthday, even though it's already past midnight. Hmm. Not, not tonight, um, a a Emily. Um, Emily. Um, Omelette. Uh oh, potato, potato. Omelette. <laughs> potato, <laughs> potato. Not now, omelette. I hate you! Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It looks like this little girl is safe. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it looks like this little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. There's another lucky development, too. Amelie wants to call her father. Now, if I can just make use of that feeling somehow. My my guess? Gonna knock over the lighter, light it, knock over the like the, the, the line that's holding up the shelf is gonna fall and the phone is gonna tumble into her bed. That is what I hope. That would surely bring the justice minister around. Am I right? Well, I can light it. Oh. Ta-da. The phone! Oh, shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> How did she know? I use, I use my eyes. Excuse you. I just realized her wine flute the 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 it, it is larger than her daughter's skull. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> you're right, Emily. I told you you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, Emily. Your father's about to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. What mistake? What do you know about it, Mama? He's the one who's the justice minister, you know. All you do is write weird novels. Oh my god. No. Oh no. Holy shit, she's. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> what do you mean weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? How, do you, how dare you what? This. this parage. Disparage my <laughs> You really made me angry. You really have. How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? I'm a little I'm a little I'm a little uh upset. Only slightly, that in her like upset sprite like she's here, she doesn't actually have her hair open like her yeah. like her other sprite does. Shame. Dude, she's like a fucking alien. Whoop. Wow. Oh, I wonder if there's another, uh, I wonder if there's another candle that I could use. I should be on the floor. There. I'll be keeping my eye on you now, so you won't do anything mischievous, like calling your father. I hate you! I can hear you, you know. That's the point. Don't ask. <laughs> I can hear you. It's like, yes, I know. Oh, I can, uh, well, I don't, what the fuck does any of this do? What the fuck? Well, there's a rat, like, right here. What if I drop this rat on her? <laughs> I mean, these poor rats. I'm even bothered. <laughs> I never thought I'd be saying that, but... <laughs> Oh, 
well, well. Having a good time, are we, little rodents? Not the response I was expecting. I was we expecting, expecting I, her to be freaking out. Yeah, I right? was expecting like the classic Disney like, oh, and then she like tears up the house trying to, you know, get rid of the get rid of the rat. But I guess not. Up, little mouse man, mm, go for it, dude. <laughs> I I love rats. Rats. What the fuck? No, oh my God, oh. gonna take him out. Oh my. What? Oh. Well. <laughs> Oh, a vintage, hey, she, hey, she knocked trend. over the the chin, the the candelabra though. She's so powerful. <laughs> She's I'm, so strong. You know, you know how in Fooly Cooly, that one episode that's a euphemism. <laughs> you know how in Fooly Cooly, there's that one episode that's a euphemism for having sex for the first time, and the main character uses a baseball bat to knock a meteor back into space. I think this lady can just do that. I don't think she I has like to it. try. I think she can just. I think she's stronger than One Punch Man. The only reason why she hasn't fought him is because she's too drunk. Yeah. I like to imagine that, like the animation of her smashing the rat with the wine bottle and sending it to the ceiling, and that, and some say that day the Zach Boner grew three sizes that day. <laughs> From what? <laughs> From the power of this lady. <laughs> Listen, I like a woman who can kick who can kick my ass. I don't like a woman who can, who can obliterate me with her hand. I'm afraid that this woman would get upset with me, flick me in the skull, and there would just be like a clean line, and I would die. You know. She's so powerful. We love a girl boss. Yeah. Am I gonna kill this rodent? People hate to see a girl boss win and. Am I about to kill this rodent by turning the valve? Oh wait. Also, I gotta get going. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. Goodbye, Grant. Oh Goodbye. my god, he's dead. Oh, and the power's out. Ooh. Is, is the phone line out if the power's out? Grant, come back. You gotta... You turn off the lights on your way <laughs> That's out. True. Oh, heavens. A blackout at a critical oh, god, time like this. Fucking, there, there's this one kid that every time that at my work where he has to go to the bathroom, every single time when we go outside, he turns the lights off on the way out, and it's so fucking annoying. That was me when I was younger. Why though? <laughs> that's a, that's definitely a, a jerk move. Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well, but I myself am very fond of the dark. Why? I don't understand why she walks around like a fucking hobbled old lady. What the fuck? Aww. Um, the chandelier just nearly missed the back of my head. I hope no ghosts take advantage of that. I love the thrill of romance, but I don't need these kinds of thrills, thank you. You go back in time and, and, and it hits her and it's like, Ah, that's one hit point out of 4,000 of mine then. <laughs> Did she just... Did she just put out the match in her wine? Oh my yeah, god. It, it makes Hell it yeah, with that wow. animation. <laughs> I love the taste of ashtrays. Yeah. It really brings the flavor of this wine. It gives it a nice smoky a aftertaste. Yeah. Smoked wine. Perfect for a clandestine meeting in the dusky twilight. Okay, so I think Lawrence is right. I gotta fucking knock her out. <laughs> also, there's a rat again. What if I open this? Is the rat gonna fall again? Is the rat gonna get caught on fire? I can't save the rat's life, man. I I pray I pray to God that the I pray to God that the mouse is just. I hope he's just like knocked out. Did that do anything? Okay. Turn this. <laughs> oh, what if it lit her hair on fire? Oh! <laughs> Lawrence? I'm oh, sorry. What a naughty chandelier. 
She's not suspicious of any of this. She's just like, oh. 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 She's too powerful, man. That's what I'm saying. That's two HP out of my 4,000. Good thing I put all my stats Stop. and vitality. <laughs> Stop all doing my that. Vitality. She's <laughs> so powerful. Holy shit. You ready? And now. Oh, I did get her. She's trapped. <laughs> Oh, I had to get her perfectly in there. Emily, help me. Mama! Mm, I'll Mama. get you later. Sorry, Mama. I'm too dizzy. I just can't get up. I'm afraid I can't help you right now. Oh, no. Uh, here is the weakness to my darling angel. <laughs> Dude, I should pull up the winch and just lift her into the air. Yeah. <laughs> that chandelier is on tighter than her wedding day. She won't be able to escape on her own. What? Also, this is like I'll... every single cartoon prison bar where it's like so wide so you can see them, but... <laughs> like, like yeah, 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 like that's the thing. It's like how wide are you implying her hips are? <laughs> the oh my god. <laughs> this is implausible. <laughs> Lawrence, come on. Billy, look, do you see this? Help me, please. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. Oh, my head's spinning. So I guess you have to stay up there spinning too. Oh. That's so. Wait, wait. Isn't there an option for this to burn brighter? Oh. Uh, boy. Um, we right. gotta like. We're putting pressure on her. Give me one second. Yeah, we're putting the heat uh -oh. on her. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh! oh my god. Oh, she's burning the rat, and the rat's alive. Oh my god, this poor rat. <laughs> this is a final destination shit. <laughs> this is so good, man. Oh, and then swing harder. It'll turn on the candle. Yes. Wait, where'd the, how'd the lights turn on? Nope. It became brighter because the candles were lit. <sighs> oh, I think you're right, actually. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> I would this be fucking freaking out too, to be honest. <laughs> and also, once again, how tight is that chandelier around her that she's able to swing back and forth without falling? That is an awaiting man. Oh, her plot armor is backfired on her. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. The what have you it. done? Oh, she's just chilling. Okay, I'm gonna go eat for like a couple of minutes. So okay. I'll be here. I just may not talk. Okay. But who knows? Maybe you won't even need me. Until. Oh, goody! Excuse me a minute while I call Papa, okay, Mama? I'll only be a minute. That's a cute sprite. That's adorable. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Uh, I can go around. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Adrian, do you want to do Wilfred Brimley? Oh, I was. Okay, sure. I'll do my best Wilfred. Or you can do whatever. I was going to do. Hello, Papa. <laughs> Should I do Wilfred or. <laughs> It, the, the, your your old man voice never comes across through Discord. <laughs> then I'll just do it slightly louder then. All right, fine. Bubberly. <laughs> Bubberly. <laughs> I fuck you. Oh my god. Of course it is, silly. What did you think? I've heard they said you were. Oh, 
No, never mind, it's nothing. Silly old Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Birthday? Oh, right, it was my birthday today, wasn't it? <laughs> Why are you saying that like that? I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate it tonight. Thanks to mean old Mama. Oh, your mean old mama, I mean your mother. What is she up to right now? She's certainly up all right. My stubborn mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Good me down! Please <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be taught a lesson for causing us so much trouble. No, oh, Emily. Emily, Emily, Emily. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Would you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? I was just about to make a terrible mistake, but it's all right. Oh my god, his wrinkles. They're his gone. wrinkles fucking Ooh. vanished. He got younger. <laughs> but it's all right now. Oh god, <laughs> his Brimley! His Brimley's gone! Okay. You're still young. There's a lot I can't tell you right now. The job of Justice Minister is very complicated, you see. Wait, did the wife leave him because she, because he, because she learned that he was going to have somebody executed for the first time in ten years? Is the wife know. actually a good person? Let's not go too crazy, Zach. Okay. But remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Mm. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything. But okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa. I have, a, have a good night. I love you. I love you too, Emily. Good night, sweetheart. Man, that's fucking cute. He's been restored. Yeah. Um, he gained his youth. Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness. Why the sudden change? I... I guess I was wrong about you. I didn't understand. Oh, Emily. I thought all you ever did was write those weird stories. That makes me a little sad. But sad? You were fucking Instead, furious! He's, he's writing her biography, her, like, potential biography with her Dude, husband. that's how like, fucking kinky one? she is with the Prime Minister? Ooh. Damn! Damn, the Prime Minister got, got game. <laughs> Alright, Lords, we already knew he got game. Look at his wife! What are you talking about? <laughs> Papa said the job of a Justice Minister was complicated. Yes, your father's very... Your father's job is very, very complicated and difficult. That's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right. I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up, after all. And I promise to stop calling your novels weird and try actually reading them. No, no, don't do well, that. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I don't even want you to know what 12 inches means for a long time. <laughs> Maybe you better wait until you're a little older for that. Okay. So, Emily, you're feeling a little more charitable toward your old mama. Do you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that. I'm just feeling too sick and dizzy right now. And... <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Tonight, on his holiest of nights, my deadline. Fucking Detective Joad was about to get a deadline. Yeah. It looks like the only thing pressing on me will be this chandelier. I'm just too dummy thick. I'm just too dummy thick. The clap of my ass cheeks keep. Getting in the way of the clap of my ass yeah. cheeks. The, the clap of my ass cheeks keeps the prime minister up too long. Yeah. Here's to Papa and Mama's darling angel. 
All of a sudden, everybody's getting along again. It's such, it's such an abrupt change, I can't understand. Is this what family is all about? Fucking whipping back and forth in rage and then suddenly everybody's all happy. Yeah. Yes. In any case, the situation has changed dramatically now. I just, I just hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows of the minister's brow. I don't know where Camilla is, but at least now the justice minister's doubts are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office, where everybody's waiting for the prison van. I should be in the phone. Yeah. The mistress family now has their smiles and harmony back, but Camilla is still in the hands of the kidnappers. I decide to go back to the justice minister's office. Surprisingly, the minister's brow is still just as furrowed as ever. Quite <laughs> unlike a father who just learned his daughter is safe, he seems to still be in the depths of despair. The atmosphere in the room is very different now. It seems to be an air of unfocused anxiety. I get the feeling something big is going to happen. I just found out my daughter is safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Doesn't he have his wrinkles back, so shouldn't he be Burmley? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for my daughter's sake, I died. You guys didn't really do anything about it, but, uh... <laughs> oh, right, shit. No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. What did he do? Oh, he yeah, takes exactly. credit, because that's the kind of guy he is. That makes sense. To be sorry. fair, he I look, the, the minister also gave it to him. I mean, that's also true. But sorry, I'm just laughing because I, 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 I glanced over at the Discord and I saw Lawrence is at it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I can't believe, I can't believe I, I, like, I didn't even intend to do that, but I can't believe I set it up accidentally so that way you'd be able to send it right during the eat your oatmeal segment. <laughs> Uh, it was it was perfectly timed. I also really appreciate you putting eat your oatmeal next to it, so that way in like six months when I'm editing this, I can just go into the on air chat and search oatmeal, and I'll be able to find it. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! I can't help but notice your daughter is safe. And yet you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? <laughs> of course, there is still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister Sturf's Mercenary Bird? Mr. Minister. Mr. 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 Please let me think in peace until the prison man arrives. I mean, I guess that's true because now that his daughter is like not in danger, he has less of an onus to to like not have the execution be done today. But then again, that's really fucking callous to just have some random daughter die. <laughs> like that's fucked. Yeah. Trick time. I have no idea what to do. I wonder if Lynn is at the park yet. Until we get a report, I guess I'll just have to wait here. This continues... This continued distress of the ministers. Is there really something more to it? Like the inspector in white said? Oh, I can talk to him. Hello, Justice Minister. How about you finally admit I do exist? That thank you I expressed. That was meant for you. Hmm. You're a ghost, aren't you? And you have the power to control and manipulate people, don't you? Not really. No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. 
we've actually known you know for quite a while now. Excuse you? Who? Who knows? The government? They've known that ghosts exist? exist? Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, well, it I does no make idea. sense. Hold the on. powers of the dead are ghosts. No, keep going. Known? Known about what? We've known about the existence of somebody who could control others, a uh, manipulator. What are you talking about? I mean, about? it makes sense if, if, if the Birdman ah! knows and he works for uh, the government, right? Then the, it's plausible to, Who like, said think. the Birdman worked for the government? Baba just now, I guess. I thought so. No, he's, uh, a, he's the superintendent of a junkyard. <laughs> Maybe he did work for the government. What? I don't know. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I'm blowing your mind. I a little bit, because I'm thinking about it now, and I'm like, wait, is the government a good guy or a bad guy? <laughs> is the government a good or a bad guy? Good question, Zach. <laughs> oh, hmm. yeah. We have to figure out who voices Detective Jode. Saba, you're still eating. Yes, no. A little bit, yeah. A little bit? Hey, Lawrence. You have to give me your dadliest voice. I was going to say, that was Brimley again. What's, what's, what's this? <laughs> what's this? this? What's this? Hey, have, watch you, this. Have, you, have, you, have you watched any uh, Game Grumps recently? Uh, not the recent videos. Well, not, not recent, recent as in when they were doing their uh, last Sonic playthrough. The one where at the very uh, end, they spent like 40 minutes trying to beat Eggman and he just kept going, take this, take this, take this. Is that, I, I'm familiar with that scene, yes. I don't know, maybe try that. You try that. What, what's the... What? <laughs> What's the deal with airplane food? What's, what's this? What's the deal with airplane food? I mean, it ain't plane, it ain't food. <laughs> airplane, it ain't food. Yeah, that's true. It's a good observational humor. And it's definitely that's, not made of air. That's why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Jode. That's the minister. Why don't you just tell us everything you know? <laughs> so as soon as Grant leaves, all of the voices go to hell. <laughs> all the voices go to hell. It's so good. <laughs> yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. All about the huge mistake this foolish man made. There are some cases in this country right now that are under a top secret investigation. Hunt. Of course, you wouldn't have known about the detective code. Right, they don't share too much top secret information with the inmates in prison. <laughs> Alright, maybe, maybe Eggman was a bad idea because now you're making him sound fucking evil. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, like Detective Joe went from like dadly, like, like, uh, magnificence to. <laughs> Let's save my daughter. <laughs> Captain Savick. There are three prisoners, including you, in the special. Pr oh, God, no, don't. Sausage head. So, no. so the, no. so the no. fucking rock star sausage head both know oh, about boy. ghosts? I don't want them to. Uh, well, I don't mind rock star, but sausage head. Sausage head. The worst of the bunch. Worst character I've ever seen in my fucking life. All three of these cases have certain points in common. I do. <laughs> I do know they tell us more. I'm starting to sound like Smash Mouth more and more. What? Tell <laughs> us more. Hey now, Prime Minister. Uh, sorry. Oh. Okay, bye. This is Brimley. The rock star singer who leaked national secrets and his lute lyrics during a TV broadcast. 
I really hope that was the thing though. Which one? Nothing. Mm, all right. A courier loving fuck face who took the chief command commissioner hostage. He took a chief commissioner at hostage. Oh yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah, and then he burned down the entire uh, like office with a fucking flamethrower. I fucking oh, hate this know. guy every, more every single time I learn anything about him. Neither of these men, men had a motive for their crime, and both their crimes were impossible. Impossible. It's a medical miracle the other guy could move around with that fucking tuber on his head. <laughs> <laughs> the curry, the, the fucking abomination to all things good and holy had no way of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office. And the rock singer had no way of knowing the national secrets here leaked. The Special Investigation Unit, or CU, submitted an investigative report to me on them. They concluded that these men's criminal acts were not, were not of their own volition. But how could that be? The theory that you kept was that it was the existence of a nephew. <laughs> So they couldn't find a good motive or think that so these guys were capable. So they fucking made one up. Yeah, they were just like, well, they must be ghosts, guys. Come on, it's gotta well, be like a ghost. Okay, so they're like, no other possible thing could have happened. Impossible. Like they tried everything. You're 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 both hitting the nail on the head because, in the context of the game, yeah, it kind of makes sense, right? Because we know that ghosts exist, and we know that like, huh, what if someone did have a ghost trick that allowed them to control somebody else's body? Right? Like, what if they did have that? Like, that'd be kind of interesting, I guess. However, from the world's perspective, the idea of the government just being like, Ghost did it. Let's keep him in prison. Yeah. It's like, it's so stupid. That's when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. We used the most old, rundown, shitty gymnasium we could find. <laughs> Some unknown power has been at work. These past several years, Inspector Cowridge has been studying these cases. I almost forgot. Ugh, I like Inspector Carriage. It has, Hatchy. Manipulating somebody into committing a criminal act, according to the Inspectator. The Inspectator. The first case of his kind was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you saying? Oh shit! Uh, I I'm trying to say I was manipulated by to shooting Alma. It's getting it's getting more growly with this voice. I am I am Richie Tafarian, but unfortunately, <laughs> <You're> like, Lawrence, <laughs> you're going <laughs> insane. <laughs> He's becoming grumbling. <laughs> I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to manipulate another behavior like that. My powers certainly don't work on living creatures. That's what I first thought when I heard the theory too. It doesn't make any sense, you. dumbass. You would have to know about ghosts already and then hear the theory about the manipulator. Wait. <laughs> Is that what he's implying? However, I was seriously mistaken and it proved to be a big mistake. What? You've mentioned a mistake. Could you tell us about it? I suppose everyone here has the right to know. <laughs> Once again, instantaneous talking like this is like this is like when they're like in a jojo fight and they're falling from the sky and the conversation takes 12 minutes despite the fact that in real time they've only been falling for 10 seconds yeah it's just dio's time stop all right fine i'll speak out so i'll speak out loud so inspector carousel can't oh uh Hang on, I got one. Let me think. Oh, I didn't have that on my list. I gave Ooh. you one. 
Inspector Cantankerous can hear this too. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> I'm currently at one. Seven on my list. Of names. There's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector... Oh, God damn it. Uh, Inspector... Arbuckle. No, I, I want to make one of us stop. Oh, damn it. Hang on. Crabapple. Nope. That's, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> you uh, fucked it! <laughs> God damn it. Like, give me a second. Let me think. I'm going to hold up stream for this. <laughs> I'm going to hold up... <laughs> Inspector Cantina. Cantina. <laughs> when you first saw right down report. Cannonball. When you first uh -huh. made that report about a manipulator. I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minstis. Must miss, 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 miss. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist. Does. Inspect does Inspector Elvis know what the conversation we're talking about is, or has he he's... been standing there in silence for uh, a couple of seconds, and then the Prime Minister well, goes, "I want to tell you about a mistake." Well, I mean, I mean, he mentioned a special power, and isn't Mister What's His Face in charge of the whole ghost investigation or manipulator investigation? I guess that's true. So yeah, I guess, he just I guess, I guess that was the, it just seems a little you know, weird to just randomly bring it up out of the middle of nowhere. You know, you're right. You're right. But I guess I think he just inferred, I guess. OK. And I, and I, I learned the truth of that first time because I saved your life. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Joe's and rest execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being controlled. Excuse you? Some may even say manipulated. So why didn't you stop the order? I'm about to right now. What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister, Mr. You never Sturs told Ministers. me about this, Mr. Minister. Mr. Simon turns Whoa. That's okay. Oh, someone is controlling him. But this is. Wow, my what? signature How looks really happening? fucked up. It's a different ghost with a different power, I guess. But he says, but didn't Ray no, say he couldn't do that? Well, once again, if Grant's theory of us being, uh, uh, of Ray being us from the future, then maybe we just didn't know, or maybe we knew that we shouldn't have told ourselves that. I don't know. We definitely don't have the power to do that, though. You know? That's how that <laughs> That's how it happened. That's what all my fear is behind so. Adrian? Adrian? He disappeared? <laughs> your your audio keeps uh, cutting out. The Wilbert is too strong. He, he's, oh, oh, it's, it's it, really it, cutting it's, out. It's his, it's his internet. <laughs> Adrian, we'll uh -oh. give it, Adrian, we'll give it a minute. We'll we'll see if you come back. <laughs> oh, he's dying. Shit, he's are we about to lose Wolf and Brimley? Interesting. Well, it's a sad day for all Brimleys. His whole thing is frazzing out. That sounds like his USB. Uh, well, I don't know if everything. I'm assuming most of the stuff is probably plugged into the back of his computer. That'd be my assumption. Hello. Hello, are you Ooh, back? Are you there? Oh. 
Hello? Yes, hello. Okay. Can you hear us? Is he gone again? Ah, uh, this... A little bit. He's cutting, like, a little bit in and out. Like, right now, his circle's green. He's and like, I, I, I guess computer's just committing suicide. Oh, no! no! So Lawrence, how 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 was your opinion overall on doing the quick Photoshop of the Quaker Oats thing? How was my opinion? Yeah. How, how did how did you like the experience of doing that? You know what? The uh, experience taught me a lot about uh, Photoshop. <laughs> That's not uh, what I meant, jerk. <laughs> What I meant was that, uh, the, cause, cause like, I don't know, you, you don't really do a terrible lot of voice acting on these streams, and I'm afraid that mm. you might not necessarily be super engaged, and not that we'll necessarily do it all the time, but I would love to get more stuff like this, cause this is fucking awesome. Just like, just like photoshopping memes. Yeah. I, mean, I think, I think yeah. that would, I think that would be great. They, they are a lot of fun to do. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll cross that bridge at a later time if something funny comes up, but... <laughs> it's so good. The Quaker the Quaker oatmeal thing is so good. All right, hello. Hello. Oh, hello. I plugged my mic into a different USB jack, so hopefully that fixed it. Okay. All right. Yeah. How is your keyboard and stuff doing? It's not beeping anymore, which is good. I your, literally... Why does your keyboard beep? Well, it was because it was making the USB, like, blah, blah, like oh. unplugging and plugging in sound. Like, I normally I would chuck that up to, like, I jostled something with my leg, but I literally was not. I was sitting completely stationary, drawing some big boobies for a commission. Oh, fucking sick. Oh, I see. Okay. Would you like a tastefully censored picture of my work in progress? No. No. <laughs> um, I think, I think we're, we I think we're good. Yeah. You can save that for the future. Uncensored only. Only uncensored. You can save that for the NSFW channel later. Uh, That's never gonna exist, is it? <laughs> if, if that would be fucking hilarious, if uh, like in the future, if like we had like a following what or whatever the in the community channel, there was an ultra secret NSFW channel that you could only gain access to if I had confirmation that you were eighteen plus. <laughs> You would only uh, get permission if 18. Plus. And your and your and your tag would be because uh, you know how you can have like roll like tag rolls. Your your tag would be horny. <laughs> horny. It's like, no. Uh. Anywho. Uh. If we're if we're good to go, are you are, are you good to go, Adrian? You ready to resume? My fucking keyboard stopped working, but I can still read and do voice acting and click stuff. I guess. Is that okay with Sorry. you? Do you want to do? If you want to take more time um, on your own to try and fix this, yeah, we just can go. Just I'll just keep going. I'll just be distracted a little bit. Um, I'll try to solve in the background if I can. Okay, this is you. Okay, at the time it didn't even cross my mind I'd been manipulated, and my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Hmm. So the memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, eh? The signing execution orders is part of a justice minister's job. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task. What is happening to my computer? But the next day it dawned on me. I remember Inspector. Oh, I can't. Do... I can't think of one while also this is happening. Hang on. Um. Um. Well, Inspector Catalog's report was the existence of manipulator. As a minister of justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like this got out, the nation's judicial system would crumple. That's very true. 
Besides, I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anyone what had happened. Hmm, I suppose. But it sounds a bit like an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister, Mr. Spencer. You definitely Spencer. should have told Detective Elvis. Like that, like that's a given. Yes, yes. Uh, or wait, yes, yes, I know I should have. I was <laughs> running away from the problem. I'm trying yeah, to figure yeah, out yeah, something so good. I can try out those jacks on the, for my keyboard instead. <laughs> and then my big titty wife showed up. And my massive bazonga booba found out I was worried about something. <laughs> I didn't like, you know. Hello, I wanted to ask you a question. Yes, booba. I mean, dear. <laughs> Hello, big bazonga booba. Well, if you go around with an expression like that, I guess it's bound to happen. I explained it to her, and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's... this is Lawrence. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth, immediately, I'm moving out. I'm surprised. She is... She's a good person-ish. Yeah. She's they, just very emotional. She, yeah, she, she, she's emotional. She's ultra super powerful. <laughs> A dangerous combination. And then with the kidnapping tonight, with it thrust under my nose like that, I could no longer deny my mistake. Man, I'm with my now. countless heart attacks and <laughs> oh man. This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. But if... That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. Hmm. So there's somebody else with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. But now that death what lamp I, has become more suspicious. What mm. I'm not fine with is the fact that that person can control and manipulate living creatures. That's certainly not something I can do. If I could do it, I'd be fine with it, but I can't, so I'm jealous. <laughs> see. Apparently, different ghosts get different ghost tricks. Interesting. But I never imagined that tonight I would find out where this kind of power comes from. <laughs> it's unfortunate that this is the Adrian show as he's dealing with tech issues. <laughs> yeah. Where it comes from. Oh, fuck it. Oh, he's got a, you know. Inspector oh, Candy and King. another one. Oh. Inspector Catamaran. <laughs> Jesus. There's a lot of CA words in the English language. Who would have known? This manipulator is a ghost of the parted spirit. Oh, I, I'm just trying to think of it now. I know it would be really frustrating, probably, to program. But, like, you know how in Undertale, there's that one random one-off joke, which will replace all the yellow text in the game with pink text? No, I didn't know that. That's cool. You didn't know that? that? Super early on, there's a bunch of, uh, or, or there's a frog that you can talk to in, tut in uh, Toriel's area, and he asks you, like, hey, do you like the yellow text when something's important? If not, just let me know. I'll let everybody know. And you tell him no, and he's like, okay, I'll let everybody know. And then from that point on, for the rest of the game, all the important text is pink instead of yellow. And then later, when you go to, like, the dump at the bottom of the waterfall, uh... It, you you find like all the yellow text hidden behind like a pile of garbage and it's really funny so i'm thinking about it and i'm like man the, i wonder how difficult it would be to have like a like a json file that just contains like 
300 CA words. And every time the game tries to call Detective, Detective Elvis's name, it just picks a new random unique CA word and just uses that over and over. That'd be cool. That'd be, that'd be fantastic. I, I want to keep that in my back pocket for the future because that'd be great. Especially, especially if the joke was like the guy just wants everybody to get his name right and they literally can't. <laughs> he looks like a bird. A spirit. Is it not a little weird that he has the same like weird hair thing that Lynn does? Yes. It is weird. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah, so yes. this point, we, it is quite strange, my lane. Dubiously. But for matter of speaking, there is a ghost talking to us right now. What the? Joad, don't tell me you can hear this ghost too. What? Uh, uh, uh this was, uh, yeah. Dude, I'm about prepared. I, I, I'd say the only person who can't hear him is you. What about the two guards? They're people. They're not people. They're statues. Kermits. <laughs> they're Kermits. Oh, they're Kermits statues. Spirit, ghost, gods in heaven. You're all insane. Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend. Oh, no, he seems I... shady. I filled my diaper, you see. <laughs> I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decisions, sir. As this is this is what I mean when I say that I think he's a double agent working for the Blue Man Group, and now that he like hears, now that he has confirmation that all of these people are Noah ghosts, I think he's gonna be like, dude, Cecil flipped on us. Cecil's on the yeah. other side. I need to. <laughs> Plug in and dig out my old keyboard because this new one is not working right now. That's concerning. <laughs> oh, Flynn. Flynn, I'm at the park. <laughs> We've been waiting to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? Okay, yeah, there we go. Ugh. Well, um, <clears throat> the situation <clears throat> here is it's kind of difficult to explain. Someone's dead. Yeah, Cecil, my keyboard. If you're there, come to the park <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Hello. It looks like rare help is needed, Cecil. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Goodbye, Mr. Minister. Is oh, this... that's really bad. Are you okay? Uh, I think two of my USB jacks are just straight up not working, which means that I cannot use most of the, or I, I'm not gonna be able to use one of the devices on my fucking, the fucking computer. Uh, uh is this a computer tower? Uh, so yeah. Do you, so you're plugging them into the back, are there no USBs on the front? Well, I'm using the ones on the front. How many USBs do you have? I have... Minus two. I was gonna say, I have one for my tablet. My mouse, uh, my monitor, my mic. Your monitor is USB connected? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's different. <laughs> okay. I, I, you know what? Just unplug the water. You don't need that. Yeah. You know, a good point. I'll just, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just telepathize based on what you guys are saying. Here, See, you, you want to tell, you want to telepathize. Back. This is why we kill Saba and Lawrence so that we, they can, they can facilitate the uh, telepathy, and then they save each other in 24 hours. No, no, hang on, Zach. Oh I got an God. idea. All, all that needs to happen is you guys just read the lines, and then I'll read them back to you in the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Eat up the lines. Line. <laughs> line. There might be a in the back, but I, oh, I have to pull the shit back. I'm still dusty back there. Okay. Lynn calls, and I oblige. I take off towards Temsic Park, the place where clearly something big is taking place. The manipulator, the person whose very existence sheds new light on everything, Detective Jode's crime, the execution, orders, and even my own death. 
I'm gonna dip from stream early to try to solve this. I, this is. I think very it's good. Bad. We're gonna be stopping as soon as we're done with this anyway. Yeah. All right. Goodbye, Adrian. See you See next ya. week. Goodbye. Later. Could it be? Could Lin have been manipulated into shooting me? I don't think so. You know, we were like in a weird, like posy position. I don't like we were we were totally that, uh... fine by it. And it just seems like she got emotional. Like, that's why her hand was shaking. It didn't seem like she was being controlled. It just seemed like she was like, oh, my God, I don't want to shoot you. But her memory being a miss is still weird. That is true. Our memory was a miss, too, though. I think that just happens when you die. OK, shit, I almost did the same thing again. Uh oh <laughs> it's okay i was holding control all right um i think we can probably end stream like 10 minutes early i think that's okay yeah um new chapter new beginnings new chapter it's a shame potato hoarder didn't show up today but it was still a good stream yeah. it's okay we still figured it out you know uh give me a quick second i say i say we chit chat for just a little bit while I try to ban all the bots that we've accumulated over the course of this stream. Okay. Um, I think that tomorrow's stream is going to be pretty lucrative in terms of the progress that oh, Jesse and Grant yeah. are going to make. I was saying to him, Lawrence, that we kind of have to ask like kind of the big questions uh before discovering kind of before you know uh, revealing certain secrets of certain locations you know kind of being like because you know we went through all of this stuff where we learned kind of what the nomai were doing right and, and all of this right but we have to ask the question to like you know what happened to them yeah. like why couldn't they do what they did or what they wanted to do all, all this kind of stuff when you mention that, because I was thinking that throughout the playthrough, they're getting more answers than they are asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, and so I don't know. I think when I when I when I really think about it, I think that this game just I, I think they're enjoying themselves like in a literal sense. But I legitimately think that it's just not their speed. You know, something trying to game, yeah. Yeah, cause it, cause it's like, like, like Lauren. I can't, I can't believe Lawrence was able to summarize it so perfectly. But yeah, they're just not asking questions. They don't really seem that like curious about like what's actually happening to the Nomai, and that's like the entire point of the game, <laughs> you know. So I don't know. Uh, there, there's a certain thing of like kind of you know empathizing with those guys too being like you know oh like curiosity and exploration and stuff like that and caring about those things because you know it's the like, foundation imagine... of what the game is built on the yeah, idea imagine... of like there being an entire civilization that was built on those principles is supposed to be interesting but yet they want to slide we, uh... around on ice <laughs> You'd go to like the DL, like the DLC, and at the end of it, they're just like, okay. And I'm like, you felt nothing? You huh? felt nothing. I don't know. Yeah, I'm hoping that the it. really big revelations will still hit them, you know? Uh, yeah. Obviously, like the, the truth of the ghost. Well, I'm, I'm saying this just in case. I don't know. They, they're not gonna watch it before tomorrow. But like, I like the like the truth I mean, of the interloper. We can stop the stream and, and streaming oh, and stuff like that. Well, I'm, I, we can stop now because I just banned all the bots. So now okay. we can stop. All right. Good night, stream. Good night. Good night, stream.